To other news now, during last week's presentation of the 2018-2019 budget by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, it was proposed that value-added tax be hiked from 7.5% to 12%. Well, the Chamber of Commerce has since publicly stated its position and is and it's contrary to that of the government. Chamber CEO Edison Sumner says the intent is not to bash the government. He explains why they oppose, but says they can change if given a reasonable explanation. Here's Cleopatra Murphy. The Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation is rejecting government's proposal to increase value-added tax from 7.5% to 12% come July 1st. Chamber CEO Edison Sumner cited government's lack of consultation with the business community that he said could have provided valuable feedback prior to that announcement. It is the private sector that drives most of the economic activity in the country. Any taxes imposed are going to be borne by the private sector business community and by the residents um, and individuals as well. We also um, have said before that in getting ourselves out of this situation, we cannot tax ourselves out of it. We've got to plan our way out of it. While taxation could be a component, some who expressed misgivings about the proposed tax hike after it was announced says following a meeting with the Minister of Finance, the Chamber's concerns persist. The Chamber CEO suggests a 60% fat increase could lead to an increase in the cost of living, the middle class could be squeezed out, and it would decrease the Bahamas' appeal to investors. And if an investor decides that, a, that jurisdiction A is more expensive than doing business in jurisdiction B, and the risks in jurisdiction A are greater than they are in jurisdiction B, then they're going to go where they can find better value for their money, where they can get business done easier, where there's easy access, there's uh, market access, there is um, access to the regulatory agencies. Outside of those concerns, he says July 1st represents too short of a time frame for businesses to prepare. That gives the entire country less than a month to prepare themselves for adjusting their accounting system, repricing products in their stores, looking at all the SKUs, particularly in the major food stores, to have to go and readjust themselves, um, putting in and adjusting the rates in their point-of-sale systems. Sumner says the Chamber wants to work with government to determine opportunities to improve the country's economic outlook and its fiscal standing. The Chamber plans to organize meetings with the private sector and the minister to further discuss their concerns, and Sumner says he is hopeful that government will reconsider the increase to 12%. Cleopatra Murphy, CNS Network News.